So it's a brand new day, or, well, I guess it's the same day because I technically got home from work this morning, but um, here, I got a little excited yesterday when I came home with the package, so, but I went and I opened it. Um, I did some of the f boring stuff first because there's like a little rubber grommet that goes on it and then the end caps on the actual bars themselves, but um, I haven't actually done anything else besides that, just so we can skip all the boring stuff. So, so if you look at the box, this is kind of what it comes with. It comes with these two bars, and yeah, these little grommets I was telling you about. Um, the end caps, the foot, I guess the feet, or foot, I don't know. On how to mount them, the little cover. It comes with keys. Um, Allen keys, an actual locking key, and the hinges, and spacers, and then the other bar. And it's kind of how it looks. Um, and like this little piece is already assembled. But anyways, it comes with all that, some instructions. So that would be nice. That would be useful because um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so let's start by getting these little tabs off these little end channel tabs so you can see this little thing right here and I th you can just pry them up if I'm not mistaken figure this out yep they pop up just like that do they come out? no I think they just yeah well, they just pop up All right, so I got all the little rubber feet on the crossbars. And according to the instructions, well, I guess I can show it to you. There's nothing really crazy yet. But so according, all right, let me get up on the car. Yes, all right. So according to the instructions, you see how there's two holes. I'm saying at the very front. This is the passenger passenger front. Um. See how there's two holes here, and then this is the passenger rear here and here. You want to go on the innermost holes for both, according to this chart. You see, inner hole, inner hole on the passenger side, inner hole, inner hole. So, and they're basically like these studs that go straight in like that if they would screw in and uh, they give you this cute little allen key to just kind of tighten it down and then you put a spacer in it and then every, the entire assembly kind of goes up on top so that goes in like so and it says to tighten to two newton meters so not very tight at all so pretty much that's it all right so I'm gonna get it gonna get a shot of me doing it on the entire car spacers just kind of drop in like that. Boop. Boop. Yeah, two more. That goes in. Boop. And boop. Yeah. I think this might be a good place to put y'all. So y'all can kind of see what's going on. This 
hard to tell. I don't think I may have... I feel like I may have not put these on correctly. Cause... So these crossbars go on. But they don't exactly look level. You see, it kind of follows the curvature of the roof. I think I need to put the smaller ones up front because you see how it's small here. This would, I guess it would make up for the gap and it's bigger here. So that would kind of level this out and vice versa because you see how it's big here and small here. If it's big here and small here, it'll level it out on this side. So let's try flipping them around and see because I think I definitely put those on wrong. That actually looks a lot better, just as I thought. So yeah, so the fat end needs to be up here in the small end. So you see how it's much more level? And it's a lot more level on this side as well. Sorry for the glare, guys. But you see, it's nice and level. Now it goes washer lock and then nut. So. And it looks weird because, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, but it has this weird little rounded lip on it. I'm trying to figure out which side goes where. I would assume it's <clears throat> the tapered end. So I guess the round end down like that. And then the uh, locking one on top. So kind of like this, this, and then the nut. Boom. Kind of like that. So boom, boom, and Boom. All in together. So they even come with this cute little wrench and you just kind of just, and they say to alternate, so alternate tightening it. So I'm going to get it down to hand tight and I'm going to the other side and uh, before I start cranking them down, I'm just getting to the point where just the bolt just, not stops, but it's tight, a tight bit. So those are all tightened down. Super secure base. Wow, that's actually what didn't move at all. Okay. Um, Old wrappers, <laughs> wrappers. Um, so, tighten that down, alternate tightening. Now I have to tighten these. Tighten these little suckers. And, oh, whoops, sorry. And then you're supposed to tighten the foot ones. Whoops. I don't think it really matters. But let's go ahead and let's tighten the, uh, these giant six millimeter ones, or 16 millimeter hex keys. I'm going to do the front first and then we'll do the rear <clears throat> just so we can kind of keep it as even as we can. Ow. When you cinch them down it kind of cinches down the actual bars themselves and I don't think that's even at all. That's why. Because I was like, yeah I was like what kind of stops the bar from moving? But that's what stops the bar from moving. So get it even, then cinch them down. So, I guess you learn a little every day, huh? And I think I'm gonna get a mirror because it might be easier if I get a mirror. Hang on. Check that out. Perfect. Look at that. Makes it a little easier to see the markings. However, all right. Let me get these straightened out, and then I'll. Uh, I'll give you guys the numbers that way. Okay, that took a while to uh, measure and get them completely even. But, so, the front ones, um, I think it may depend on which one. Um, like, which one you put front, which one you put in the rear. But, the one in the front is just a smidge under 30. So, if you pull the little tab that comes out, um, pull it. 
to 29 and about halfway to the, about, I'm sorry, three-fourths of the way of the 30 line or between the 30 space and that's how I was able to get it even on both sides. And that's for the front. Um, in the rear, super easy, it's perfect 25 on both ends, just pull them till you see 25 and the line, the marking stops, boom, 25, 25 and you're perfectly even on there. So, that took a long time, a lot longer than it should have taken. Um, but anyways, now I got them nice and even, we're gonna go ahead and finally uh, go ahead and tighten these down. But we have the keys and then we have the covers. And it looks like, oh, it looks like you shove the cover, the keyhole with the key into the cover. And then you shove the whole assembly in and then you lock it. Okay, let's do that. Like that. And then, you just turn it one time just so that it'll stay in the same place. And it comes out. Pretty stupid proof, right? Cover goes on, like so. Is it like an audible click? No. Well, it's not. And then you go key in and you lock. You take it out. And I guess there's no audible click. So, these are on there, nice and sturdy, look how sturdy that is. I don't know why this opens up, but it does. But, I'm gonna get changed, go get dressed. Um, I'm actually gonna go to the gym. Um, and when I go to the gym, I'll get some in-cabin, um, I guess, noise and review. Honestly, I I don't think the mic will pick it up, but I'm gonna do in-cabin review, just kinda let you guys know, cause um, definitely with Refracts, you're gonna get a little bit more noise more noticeable noise I will say there is a little bit of more noise it's not annoying it's not a vibration it's just like a, as if you crack your windows about half an inch it kind of noise but it's like muffled if that makes sense it's very vague it's it, it really isn't that loud but then again I haven't gone past 50 miles an hour um, I think if I ever get on the highway it might get it might you know kind of exponentiate that a little bit and make it a lot louder um, I'll take the highway on the way home from the gym and then we'll see from there but so far it's it really isn't that much louder than you know what the car normally is I mean the WRX is already a fairly loud car but uh, I'm gonna do a highway run just this just you know at highway speeds up to about 80 miles an hour or 75 whatever the speed limit is um, and I'll let you guys know how much noise it actually makes. Uh, fingers crossed that it's not super loud and super annoying, but it really shouldn't be. I mean, I don't think it's that much. And there's actually these inserts that I haven't put in that you put in the underside of it. Um, I didn't put them in just because there's only about this much sticking out past the actual piece that touches my roof. Um, you can put these little plastic inserts in them, and I guess it kind of helps with the drag. And in the instructions, it actually says it'll help decrease uh, wind noise that these things create. So, I mean, if it, I really don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. But if it is a little, if it's, you know, if it gets louder, um, I'll definitely try that. I'll stick the little inserts in just to see if it makes any kind of difference at all. I mean, it's worth a shot. Um, just got out of the gym. Stopped by for some food at Wendy's. I know, great post, post-workout meal, huh? But, um, 
about to get on the highway. We'll see how this sounds. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's gonna make that much more noise at highway speeds. I think it's gonna be perfectly fine. Alright, so far so good. I'm only at 55. Let's get it up a little higher. Let's see. Alright, so we're at 74, 75. And it's really not that loud. I mean, Definitely a little, definitely noticeable that you know there's something passing over the roof. Um, and I think in part, part of the noise is I have reindeer antlers on. Um, if you if you watch the install video um, or during the install video, I had the antlers on, so that at least a small crack in the window. So that could be the noise that I'm hearing, um, not so much from the actual racks themselves or crossbars themselves, it could actually just be that little tiny gap that the handlers are causing in the wind in the rear window, um, giving me that false sense of, I guess, noise. But it's really not that loud. The only reason why I'm kind of shouting is just, or I'm talking louder, it's so that the mic can pick up my voice. But I mean, nothing too crazy, really, nothing that drastic. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'll be making more. I'll talk more about like mods that I'm going to do on the car and the mods that I have done so far because this this is my first video of the car. Um, there's not much. I guess I didn't really, you know, nobody really knows what's going on in my car or what happened or I mean not what happened but what has been done to it. Um, but I'll talk more about that in the next video. Thanks for checking it out, guys.